You're watching Telecom TV and we're joining from the Global MBBF in Dubai this year. Now I'm delighted to be joined by Vishnu Ram Ovi, Vice Chair of the Focus Group on Autonomous Networks at ITUT. So Vishnu, how can we build a collaborative, monetizable ecosystem around 5G and beyond? That's a great question. So we build a baseline network uh, using 5G, 5.5G, whatever type of technology there is, that's a baseline network. Now, on top of it, we build collaborations, partnerships with multiple cross-vertical teams. That could be agriculture, that could be you know, transport industry, manufacturing industry 4.0, health-related applications. These applications are to be built on top of the baseline network using APIs, interfaces, standardized interfaces that we build in standards organizations like ITUT. Building these applications gives an opportunity to monetize, bring in a community around it, including developers, users, and the end users who can actually take value out of the system. This is how we build the overall ecosystem around the technology like 5G. And AI is currently a very hot topic and ChatGPT is extremely popular. But how can AI be used and really help exploiting value in 5G and beyond? That's a great question as well. So AI is a great tool for us. It helps us to analyze problems in the network. In the morning, we, we saw the we do, this different, uh, different presentations. There are also solutions for analyzing problems, fault isolations in the network. But at the same time, it's also an opportunity for us to bring uh, solutions in cross-industry verticals. Applications, for example, in ITU, we are looking at energy saving, smart cities, smart uh, uh, facilities where you can analyze the energy usage and uh, optimize them using sensors and a closed loop feedback mechanism. This gives us the overall picture along with analytics to bring this tool, which is a powerful tool like AI, to m make more value to the system. This is the this is the uh, way in which we bring uh, a tool to bring a, a tool to build solutions on top of the network and to make it more intelligent, make the main, uh, network more intelligent. And what is the role played by standards in 5G and beyond in terms of creating value for the community? Ah, so standards gives us um, a way in which we can bring different players to the table. It's not only interoperability. As children, we play with Lego blocks. Lego blocks is a way in which we combine things and we build things, right? Similarly, it's possible to have standardized interfaces between different components in the network and you build applications on top of them. This is one way to look at it. But at the same time, standards gives us a fair picture, an equal table where different players come together. In fact, I keep saying this, that standards is the only place where you can find Tom and Jerry sit together and work together. This is one way we have different players, competitors, sometimes competitors, come together and build solutions, standardized solutions, at the same time, Opening up of these interfaces makes it possible to build regionally, locally relevant solutions. This can solve real life problems in different parts of the world using standards. This is the real value which is built by standards. You look at it from an integrated pipeline of standards, pre-standards, standardization work, at the same time post-standards work as well. This kind of overall picture when we build that brings maximum value to the community. Tom and Jerry sitting together and building Lego blocks. This is quite the analogy indeed. Vishnu, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.